What if I were to tell you we already have some sales figures for Tears of the Kingdom, and they are extremely impressive? Of course, it's going to be more impressive when we have worldwide figures, but man, oh man, oh man, I'm really excited for this game. I also want to make sure in this video, we not don't just talk about the sales so far or numbers we actually have that are tangible, but we also need to make sure that we examine pre-orders, right? There's a lot of pre-orders out there. Some new pre-order bonuses were announced today as well. And I want to make sure that we go over all of the various pre-order items you can get. For those of you still looking to decide what retailer you want to pre-order or if you want to pre-order Tears of the Kingdom at all. Now, before I get into that, guys, we're so close to 100,000 subscribers when we get there because I'm confident we'll do it before Tears of the Kingdom. We'll give away a Nintendo Switch OLED edition, the Zelda version. We're also going to be giving away a collector's edition of Tears of the Kingdom and more. We got a bunch of stuff planned for you guys. Uh, man, I can't wait. Hopefully, we hit it this week and then we can uh, start talking about how you guys can enter the giveaways and have a live stream event for it. It's going to be pretty cool. Now, that being said, first, we got to get into sales figures. So, we have updated figures from ComG showing that Tears of the Kingdom was already trending significantly ahead of Breath of the Wild pre-orders, and that is still the case. But we actually got additional information today, and I want to give full credit to Player Essence who brought this up this morning. It looks like about one sale at ComG represents about a thousand sales in the whole of Japan. So this is just the relative how much they sell compared to every other retailer. So you get a good representation, and when you check the math on prior pre-order numbers they opposed, Posted, it actually checks out so you can get a good idea of how much a game is selling physically in Japan before it comes out by looking at the ComG charts and then timesing what they have there by a thousand. So right now they have about 353 pre-orders, which I know to us doesn't sound like much, but the math checks out. That means over 350 thousand copies of Tears of the Kingdom have already been sold in Japan, and these are physical units. Now this is Amazing because there's still uh, like over a month to go to pre order the game. So that 350 is going to be 400, going to be 500. This could be a 600, 700 with digital over a million launch for Nintendo in Japan. That's insane. So we're just going to have to wait and see because digital is becoming a big factor in Japan. But man, oh man, oh man, I'm really excited by those numbers. It makes me wonder what the worldwide figures are going to be. It trending that far ahead of Breath of the Wild is insane to me. Now, I also want to get into some additional pre-order stuff. So we have a, a few things out there that we could talk about uh, in terms of pre-order items. The first thing that I want to bring your attention to is something brand new. So Walmart today launched two new pre-order items for Tears of the Kingdom, and you have to like get the bundle that includes it. Now, it costs the same, but there was a limited 5,000 pre-order for a gold banner, which the banner looks like it's really not that much bigger than the game, assuming that the game to banner size in the image is actually how big the banner is, uh, but that's really cool. They also have a version that's a black scroll. So if you want both, you gotta you gotta get both. Obviously the gold one's limited to 5,000 people. The black one's available to everyone. Although right now at the time of me looking, both are completely out of stock. So take that for what you will, but it's another cool pre-order bonus item. So just to go over some other pre-order items that we've known about, but haven't talked about on this channel. If you are in Canada, uh, you have two pre-order options. You have a pre-order option at GameStop and Walmart. If you pre-order from GameStop, you will get this really cool pin set. Uh, that looks really, really nice. Walmart buyers, however, will get a luggage tag, which, yeah, that's pretty interesting. Uh, if you're in Israel and you pre-order at the My Nintendo store online, you'll actually get a Tears of the Kingdom t-shirt. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, in Japan, they have one of the weirdest ones. If you actually pre-order from Amazon Japan, you'll get... A Legend of Zelda Spoon. What a really, really interesting item. It doesn't look like it's specifically Tears of the Kingdom related, but I mean, it's a one-of-a-kind item, I would have to say. Uh, in Korea, there's a whole bunch of different pre-order bonuses. One of the best ones, however, is uh, a desk mat, coaster, blanket, and a 240-piece puzzle, a passport cover, a tote bag, a beach towel, or a key ring set. Yeah, it's all over the place, but there's, you know, you guys looked at all of them. They look incredible. They look interesting. It, it, dude, Korea's just knocking it out of the park with what they got going on. Um, next up, we have to talk about Switzerland. In Switzerland, they do get a green notebook with pre-orders, so that's pretty cool. In the UK, Ireland, Italy, and Germany, uh, you end up getting a collectible coin and a luggage tag, so... That's pretty interesting. In the United States now, we have a lot of various ones. Uh, there's the one from GameStop. 
uh, which is offering a wooden plaque. Uh, that's pretty interesting. You can actually get, catch a preview of that tonight if you want on my live stream. We'll, uh, we can give you guys a close look at that if you'd like. Uh, next up, we have the art print that comes with the Best Buy pre-order. Uh, and we previously talked about the Walmart stuff. So that's pretty interesting. I think when, when you're thinking about all that, it's Korea that really makes out like bandits. They have so many cool pre-order items. But how about those sales of Tears of the Kingdom, right? I... Look, I don't have any pre-orders in at the moment. Uh, I've told you guys that there's actually additional stuff coming. I, 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 I've been, I, I've heard this from s multiple people at this point that there is going to be some sort of masters style edition still to be announced. Why it hasn't been announced yet? I don't know. Maybe it's a first come, first serve on launch day. There also is going to be a Nintendo New York exclusive bundle edition as well. Uh, but again, the, I don't think they're taking pre-orders on the Nintendo New York one. That's going to be a first come, first serve ordeal there as well uh with the master's edition i presume there will be pre-orders it's supposed to have a statue in it uh, but we'll have to wait and see for nintendo to unveil again they got over a month to still unveil it and like the collector's edition it's going to be limited and it's going to sell out super fast so we really got to pay attention to when nintendo i mean i hope they announce an event for it anyways then they don't be like oh let's just randomly drop this announcement on twitter and then none of us really have a realistic chance as all the bots out there buy it up and now we're staring at scalpers on ebay and you all know how much we love scalpers in the United States. Aren't they the best? Anyways, guys, I want to thank you so much for tuning in. We will be live streaming tonight. In fact, we might be live streaming while you're watching this video because this video is going on a bit late. Uh, we are going to be playing Breath of the Wild Master Mode. We're also going to be talking Zelda. Uh, we'll be showing things off if you guys want, including a special wood plaque and whatever. You know, we, we got a lot to talk about when it comes to Tears of the Kingdom right now because... Hey, Nintendo's taking legal action right now involving Tears of the Kingdom as well. If you guys didn't catch that video, be sure to go check it out. I am Nathaniel Rubble Jance from Nintendo Prime. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.